approximately 6.40 this evening, the Charlotte Fire Department Communication Center received uh, a call of a reported apartment fire. Upon arrival, which took four minutes, our first crew noticed smoke was coming from the top of the apartment, as well as they were given information of possible children trapped inside. Uh, our crews quickly uh, located the children. They were on the second floor of this apartment. They were rescued down uh, a they were rescued from the second story of this apartment down a ladder. We also esco escorted six additional occupants that were inside of the apartment. At this time, there were no other injuries and none of the occupants that were removed from the structure were transported to the hospital. The fire remains under investigation. And as we receive additional information, I will update you all. Okay. You said none of them were transported to yeah, the hospital? None of them were transported. One thing I would like to highlight is the our communication department received the call via a child that was inside the apartment. There were two children inside the apartment. Uh, the child stayed on the phone with our dispatchers, gave instructions to where they were on the second floor, and upon our arrival, the older child allowed for her brother to come down the ladder first by making sure, and she also shut the doors to keep the smoke and any harmful substance from getting to where they were. So it's safe to say the child's a hero. Yeah, absolutely, the child is a hero. She. Uh, Oh, this, this child did a very good job and helped save lives today. So in total, eight people were rescued today. Right. I'll say we, we rescued two uh, via a ladder that we put up to the second floor. And there were six other occupants that were in an adjacent apartment that didn't quite realize what was going on. And our crews escorted those uh, down a stairway, an uh, interior stairway from the from inside the apartment. So two rescued, six evacuated. Exactly. Okay. And a child definitely made the phone call, 911 Exactly, the child did make the 911 call. Do you have the ages of the children? Not at this time, we're still uh, gathering that information. How many square footage is the apartment? Do you know? Uh, yeah, I don't, so I, yeah, I don't have that at this time. Okay. Uh, this one, now that one apartment is the what? Where, that one apartment is where the most damage is down. Correct, yes, that okay. second story all apartment. All the, all the other apartments where people have there, there are going to be some that probably will not be able to return tonight, some other occupants because of water and smoke damage, but the majority of the damage was on the uh, fire apartment. And I don't know if you said this or not, I'm sorry if I missed it, but where was the fire centrally located? Where was it located? At this time, it's still an investigation, so I don't want to say exactly where it, it may have started or, or it may have been located, but. At, once we get that investigator's report, I'll make sure I'll update all of you all. And like you said, the six additional people were from an engagement meeting. Exactly. Office. Correct. Let me see if we missed any other things. All your personnel did a fantastic job. Right. We did go to a second alarm, bring in additional personnel once we did realize we had a rescue situation, but we were quickly able to release most of that second alarm uh, for, uh, personnel that responded. Fairly quick control time. Yes, I believe I, we got a control time roughly 20 minutes after the initial dispatch. And once again, let me spell you, I know your name, but spell your name again one more time. Sure, it's Captain Dennis, D-E-N-N-I-S, last name Gist, G-I-S-T. G-I-S-T. Yeah, G-I-S-T. Yeah, like Gist, G-I-S-T, as in Tom. And it looks like you guys are kind of mopping up everything right now. Um, I saw them putting tarps up on the roof, so you guys are kind of getting ready to clear out. Exactly. We're in our demo phase right now. We pretty much, uh, the investigators are still, I believe they're still doing their investigation, but we've released most of the crews that did respond. All the children are doing, doing good? Yeah, the yeah. children are doing good. And I guess you did a fantastic job with, with, with dispatch. Yes, like I say, the child remained on, on the call with our dispatchers, given instructions to where they were located, as well as upon our arrival. That in, uh, older child allowed her younger brother to you know, uh, be rescued first. And at no time did the child get ex ex any more excited than a child would be doing, uh, doing uh, being the situation they were involved with. And no transports to the yep. hospital? None were transported. They were evaluated by, by medic, but all were released back to their uh, guardians. Sorry, I keep asking the questions again. I just sure. want to make sure I don't, you know, sometimes I get a little crazy. So sure. I want to make sure I get it right. So. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. You're quite welcome.